Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a tutorial for you. The tutorial contains uh, information about how to set the top point from your channels to your buses. I will go through three different exercises. The first one will be how to set it individually for a channel. The second one, how to set it individually for all channels to one bus. And the third will be how to use it on a custom made layout. Uh, let's dive in. <coughs> the top point always is set from a channel view like this in the, uh, at the top sense. To set an individual channel to a bus, you can just change it down here. Uh, be aware, on the XR18, you can change it individually for a channel to a bus. In the X32, you only can change it for a channel sending to two buses, always the up and then the even are always going together, doesn't matter if they are linked or not. Uh, I will change bus number three from channel kick. Just choose like post fader, you see it's changed. It also has changed bus number four, but it only has changed it for that channel. If I move to the next channel, you see it's pre fader. Let's put this back to pre fader, you will see it's only on this channel. To set a bus or a bus pair for all channels, you're starting also here on the sense layout. Then you can hit the wheel and open signal tabs. Here all your buses are listed. Uh, let's say we change bus number three and bus number four to post fader. You can choose it here and then, don't forget, it's important, hit apply. Now all channels are set to post fader uh, if sending to bus 3 or bus 4. You see it here on the first channel, I can move channel up, it's the same, I can move to the next channel, it's the same. We'll change that back bus number three, bus number four, to pre-fader, as I usually have it, hit apply, and it's changed on all channels. There is also a possibility to go into step number three uh, to use a custom layout to do this. I will try to put it in here. Let's open the layout in edit mode. I will make some space here and I will add a general selection item. This looks like this. It's with that little arrow here. Then, let's make a space here. Then I will edit this. We'll say in my case, current channel, main, sense, one, tap. And it's here. Then I will clone it, because uh, on the X32, bus number two goes along with one, I will go three. And clone it again, edit it, and then 5 will be the next, and clone it again, go to number 7, and 9, eleven. Thirteen, fourteen, 
Um, the last one. So now I have from the current channel, I have my tap points here visible. Let's see it in normal edit mode. You see now all stays the same. That's because I have set all the same, but now I can change this one to post fader and this will only affect that channel. You see, here is pre fader, post fader. Can move it back to pre fader. So, uh, <coughs> as far as I know, there is no way to change it globally with a custom UI element. That's so far I know it. If uh, someone knows a way to do it, please leave a comment. Okay, that's already all for today's tutorial. Have some fun, do some good stuff, and see you later. Bye-bye.